Hey guys, Kitchen Table Magician here with another episode of Strange Brew. Uh, today's featured card is Regal Caracal, which uh, on the surface looks pretty simple. Uh, it's two white mana and three generic for a 3-3 cat. Other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink, and when it enters the battlefield, create two one one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. So this is a, a cat lord for tribal, so obviously we're going to be building a tribal deck. Um, and I built this deck for my daughter, who's not a huge magic player, but does like to occasionally sit down and play with us. And she's really big into cats. She has two pet cats, um, and it's just one of those uh, cat people. So when she saw this card, she was like, oh, yes, please, 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 please. So um, I sat down, and, and we put a deck together. The first build we did, we did with this was um, okay. But it suffered in the mid-game. It was not able to really close out games like I hoped it would. It, it kind of tended to stall in the mid-game and fall a little bit flat and be unable to finish it off. So we had to rethink things and rework things a little bit. But now we have a, a deck build that um, plays really well with our group. And its power level is on par with the rest of our play group. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what we've got built here. And maybe this will give you some good ideas to build around Regal Caracal. All right, so obviously the first thing you need when you're going uh, tribal with any kind of tribal lord is you need four copies of the lord. So uh, we have four copies of Regal Caracal. So uh, not only does this beef all of our cats up, but it's also going to allow us to get kind of wide because it creates tokens when it comes into play. So along those lines, we want to be able to create a lot of tokens, or as many as we can, uh, reasonably, right? So we want to be able to play Regal Caracal a lot. Um, and a good way to do that is to flicker him or bounce him. Um, so uh, another card that plays really, really well into this, even though it's banned in standard, um, is still legal at my house, is Felidar Guardian. This is a cat beast, 1-4 four, for 4 mana. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another permanent you control and then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. So when you have Regal Caracal on the table and you play Felidar Guardian, you simply blink the caracal, and when it comes back in, you get two more cat tokens. This is also really good after do this on the second main, because then you could actually tap and swing with your caracal, and then play the Felidar Guardian and blink your caracal, and now he's available to block, and you produce two more cat tokens. So four of those. And then another card that plays well is White Mane Lion. This is an older one from, uh, originally from, I think, Planar Chaos, uh, my copies are from the Modern Masters, or is this Eternal Masters? Yeah, from one of the new Master sets. Um, White Mane Lion, 2 mana for 2-2, two, two, and it has Flash. And when it enters the battlefield, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. So if somebody's trying to deal with your Caracal and put it in your graveyard, you can play White Mane Lion in response, flash the Caracal back to your hand, and then you can replay the Caracal, and guess what? you get more cat tokens. So I'm just running a pair of these. I was running four originally, but it turned into more of kind of a niche card than anything else, but there's, it's still worth running a couple. All right, then Amon Cat also gave us Sacred Cat, and this is just a nice little one drop, one one with lifelink, and it embalms for one white. So we're running four of these. This is just a nice little one drop to get us on some board state early. Also, to be able to put some early pressure on, I have Loam Lion, which is one white, one one. It gets plus one, plus two as long as you control a forest. So we did a green and white build here, and this is just the white cards we're looking at right now. But this is some very early pressure. If you can get one of these down and drop a forest on turn two, this is actually a lot of really early pressure. Okay, so into green, uh, we have Pouncing Cheetah from Amonkhet as well. Three mana, three two, and it has Flash. So this is a great one to play at the end of your opponent's turn, or if your opponent's trying to swing in, you can play this in response and then declare it as a blocker. Um, this has a lot of utility, so four of these. All right, then we went digging into Aether Revolt for a little bit, and um, what we found was some nice tramplers, and so we introduced energy to the deck, which we did not have in the first build. And this is what turned the deck around for us. Uh, Aether Stream Leopard and Riparian Tiger are incredibly solid cards. They both have Trample, so for three mana, you get a two, three Trampler. When it comes into the battlefield, you get an energy. When it attacks, you may pay an energy to give it plus two, plus zero till the end of the turn. Hey, guess what else you can blink with the Felidar Guardian? 
you can blink Aetherm Stream Leopard and get energy. You can also blink Riparian Tiger and get two energy when you blink him. Okay, so these are nice big beaters. These are good game finishers. Riparian Tiger is five mana, four, four trample. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. And when it attacks, you may pay two energy and give it plus two, plus two till the end of the turn. So these both are really good game finishers. And so with the introduction of energy to the deck, uh, we went and found some good energy producing cards that also helped the deck move along. In the first build, the thing, one of the things it struggled with was that it just didn't get enough board state quick enough. Uh, it didn't wasn't it would miss a land drop once in a while and then it would stop, set you behind. So we found a tune with Aether, one green sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your library, and you get two energy. So that you can use those energies to power up the cheetahs and tigers. Okay, also a couple of combat tricks from Aether Revolt. This is High Spire Infusion. For two mana at instant speed, target creature gets plus three, plus three till the end of the turn, and you get two energy. So more energy to use on your other trample cats. And then since we're trying to go a little bit wide with some things, um, I've included one overrun. This is also a nice game finisher if you've got, you know, a half a dozen cat tokens on the table. Um, for five mana, creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample till the end of the turn. And then I just finished the deck off with four Oblivion Rings. Again, you can put any kind of removal you want in here. Um, I just put in the Oblivion Rings because there's just kind of a catch-all for everything. And um, it's easy to understand and easy to read. So that's the deck, the basic deck. Um, outside of that, just rounded it off with the 20 lands, which might not be quite enough, but you can always up that to 21 or 22 if you want. So I just found some Guild Gates from... from uh, Ravnica. These are cheap and easy to find. Um, I didn't want to throw a ton of money into this, but again, you could build any dual land you want in here. And then just rounded the rest of it off with forests and planes. So that's the deck in a nutshell. Now, since this is my daughter's deck, and this is the entirety of her magic card collection, you're looking at her entire collection right here. I went ahead and included for her a little bit of a sideboard. So I threw in for her to sideboard in some naturalizes, and some Prowling Serple Pards, which can't be countered. And your creature spells you control can't be countered. It's three mana for a 4-3, so it's got really good stats too. And I th threw her in some Windstorms, just so she could deal with Flyers if she has gets into that problem, because that can be a problem for this deck. So that is the entirety of my daughter's Magic Card collection right here in this one box. And then, of course, I got her the Grumpy Cat deck box to go with the cat deck. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been Strange Brew, Regal Caracal. Um, again, if you like this video, thumbs up, crush the like button, and subscribe. And until next time, happy brewing.